Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire, now with googly eyes. We are playing as the Watcher, which I was a little disappointed to see is the only character that doesn't get googly eyes here, although she does have them on the title screen when you're selecting your character. Uh, playing on Ascension 5 for the first time, it says heal less after boss battles. Now, I found that language to be a little vague, so I had to look it up, and near as I can tell it's saying that you heal for 75% of your missing HP at the end of an act, not a hundred. And when I was looking that up, I also found that there seems to be a lot of people who get stuck at this level, so I'm a little worried about the ramifications of that uh, factor there. Obtain a random rare card seems bad. Choose a rare colorless card can be good, but at the price of 21 damage when I'm on 5? I don't know. Uh, let's look at the... let's see if we can snipe an elite. Hey, there's an elite we can snipe. In fact, if we we're going to snipe this one, we might as well snipe this one, right? Get the fire before and after. And there's another elite. That seems pretty good. Late shop, yet another elite. I like that. <clears throat> In fact, we can come through here, and that way if one of these events is a hallway fight, we're still on deck for slaughtering the elite. Alright, done. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I confused myself for a second there. Let me take the rewards. I want to see something real quick. Yeah, okay. Oh, crap! Oh! <laughs> I did that once before, too. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes I get in the groove of... Uh... Oh, my gosh. That's embarrassing. All right. Oh, rush down. Rush down. It's a little... Er I hate rush down. <laughs> it's such a good card that, like, right now it's too early to take it. But if you take it early... Like, you actually open the doors for the possibility of having an infinite. So I'm going to do that. Um, if nothing else, uh, it will become good. Um, let's remove a card here. Just in case this does end up opening an infinite. I, uh... I don't know how easy it is to build those decks. I've seen a few in action, and um, I don't know how to. I don't know how much skill it is, how much luck it is. All right, so we do still have this thing. That's what was distracting me because there's actually been a time where I was going up a map with the every intention of sniping an elite, and I thought one of the forks was better, so I took it, and I was like, "Oh wait, I was directly on that path for that reason." So that's probably why I skipped the card thing. I did it once before. It was off camera, though. Uh, but I was recording. It was just something I never published because of that reason. But this is going so well. Second rushdown. Okay, that is pretty scary. Um, I should probably do one of those, huh? It's not as fun when you have to pay for the card draw. <laughs> Meat on the bone. Smiling mask. Okay. So this will help us um, thin the deck down. Make those rushdowns a little more powerful. This fight might be a little challenging, although I'm pleasant, pleased to see the preserved insect. I think it's so adorable that some of the relics have googly eyes, too. He doesn't have googly eyes, though. Um, our deck is still small enough that I think we can afford to not only set ourselves in calm, but perhaps also get the rushdowns into play. <laughs> okay. So this is good because that means the other one we haven't played yet is zero cost. Now here's hoping that we draw eruption in hand as well. Otherwise this delay might not be as ludicrous. Yes! Alright. Let's have some fun. Um, yeah. 
I was looking at the potion and I was like, should we use it? And I'm like, yeah, but let's wait till after we draw everything. There we go, look at that. We are gonna pummel this guy. Oh yeah, I always forget the miracle gets upgraded too. So that means the blessing of the forge is actually more valuable on the watcher. Oh yeah, way lethal. Don't even know if the potion was necessary. Ornamental fan, okay. Okay. So, if we can go infinite... See, that's the problem. I've seen it happen. Tantrum, okay. That is a necessary component. Very nice. I've seen it executed, but I've never done it myself, so I'm not sure exactly what all I need. I think the second wrath entry is helpful. Um, let's do this. This. If we did two more attacks, we'd have more armor, but he'd be doing way more damage, so I'm just going to play it cool for now. We now have two ways of getting into Wrath, so that seems... Whew, I'm on the edge of my seat here, like all nervous. I don't want to blow. Alright, so that's free. This gets us into Wrath. Uh, we're not... Yeah, lethal. Okay. Distilled Chaos. Not my favorite potion in this class, because you trigger... Tranquility. We would want another way out of calm, but tranquility exhausts. I don't think that's the play. Ugh. This is what I mean. Like, even if you know the formula for an infinite deck, you still have to. Uh... Now, here I think I will take the three attacks for the ornamental fan rather than setting rush down. And block what we can. That, uh,. Ascension Mode 5 kind of kind of has me worried. Um, this is free. 33 is the magic number, so as long as we draw any old attack, we should be good. And there it is. Cool. Alright. None of those play nice with Infinite, but I like that card. Googly eyes, yep. Yeah. Oh. Inner peace. I think that's all we need, right? We have a thin deck and just tantrum inner peace over and over again with rushdown. Um, obviously, having more than one rushdown helps get that off the ground, but I think that's all you need. Just those two cards. Uh, it's tedious. And there's other ways to expand upon it, I think, but yeah, we have to have that card. Alright. I'll take another defend here. How close are we? Like... Uh, um, we get the rush down and play, and then see what this does for us. Whoa! Did you see the order on that? That was perfect! Oh my gosh, best distilled chaos ever! <laughs> okay. Okay, wow. Um, so yeah, inner peace tantrum. Um, let's get this out of our hand. So, inner peace tantrum puts the inner piece into our discard pile. I want to try something real quick, by the way. Yeah, somebody taught me the keyboard commands for these, finally. Which I'm glad for, because when you're scrying on the PC, you can't click on these, but on the console, you can use buttons. Okay, so if I tantrum, if I inner piece, it's going to go here. If I tantrum, it goes here. So that's an energy neutral combo. We draw four, but we're going to have five not in hand. So I don't think this is, like, infinite. We do have a lot of energy, but every time we have to use Vigilance instead of Inner Peace, we lose out on that. Um, oof. So let's see, this is 18 and 16, 20, or 12, I mean. So 30 is not enough, but we could do this and this here to 
kill him. And that leaves us with... Yeah. Okay. Um, that. And that kills him. And now we have three strikes, each doing 12. So let's kill this guy as well. Nice. So Tantrum's back here. We're in Wrath. That's 18, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is just lethal. And then some. Nice. Ooh. Bottle Tornado. That's the power one. Hey, we do have one that costs zero. And 13 card deck. So when we get these two in play, we're down to an 11 card deck. Which isn't enough for infinite. And then of course, yeah. I think it's a good idea to bottle this up. That way we're guaranteed to have some of our draw engine. I'm trying to picture how it would go. Floria blows. Oh my gosh. Oh, so tempting. I think it's a bad idea here though, right? If we're going to do the thing. Um, we got to stick with the cast casting cost ones, right? Because the two limiting factors we have right now is card draw and energy. And that uh, contributes to both. Hmm. Nice. I like this. Um, and we do have the eruption to get back out of wrath if we so desire. So let's draw four. Crush joints might have been a better upgrade, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, the ability to have the vulnerable stick from one turn to the next is actually pretty big. So, that might have been a mistake. I wasn't thinking. Um, that's not to say we can't benefit from this, though. Uh, let's see here. Guaranteed to draw calm next turn. So, let us... Just go nuts this turn, as best as we can. There we go. Oh, I forgot about the tantrum. Hmm. Well, let's definitely do this. And then we're just going to hit like that and get ourselves out of that. So we're not able to block any of this. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we're still at pretty high health, so. One over? Are you serious? I kind of want to, like, I, if he's going to be bring us this far, I kind of want to go past the threshold, because this will heal for the 100% of the 12, whereas this is only going to heal 75% of that 12. Alright. So, Crush Joints, Tantrum gives us energy and a lot of card draw. And then we can inner peace, tantrum, I guess we vigilance tantrum, or better yet, let's eruption, because that doesn't go back in the draw pile, that increases our chances of doing this, right? So now we have it, right? Do we have infinite now? Inner peace. Yeah. I think we do. No. Okay. 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 I think I see what happened. Alright, well, we're in wrath and we have enough block to stay there. Um... All the same, I kind of want to stack up a vulnerable for next turn. So I just hit the block because it's the only one cost. Oh, burn. Yeah, burn's going to interrupt that too. So we don't quite have infinite. 18 is not good. Um, but if we block as much as... We, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's going to be 9. That's perfect. Right? Because 9 and we block for 8, that takes us 1 on 1, and that should be active. If you are at or below 36, yes. Okay, so, hardest hitter, and also puts it back, which is 
Nice. Oh. Okay. Oh, the weakness. Okay. The weakness was modifying it in such a way that... Alright. That's unfortunate, because I would have loved to have taken exactly one there. And it looks like we have a chance. Look. We'll just take one here. Oh, no, no, with the burn. Still, that's fine. That's fine. Um, could draw cards. Should have looked at that first. Should have looked at that first. Yeah. Alright, well. We can try some infinite, but not guaranteed. Okay. Um, 12. I'll tell you what, let me do this. There, now we can get below that threshold. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Dang. Okay. <laughs> I tried. Alright. Still, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay. I think the only card that we would take here would be Scrawl. And I don't see Scrawl. So let us skip. <sighs> ooh, ooh! Three instead of two. I gotta take it. I gotta take it. I'm almost certain this is the right call. Like, I love this relic. I would take it just about over anything else. But the the way that we're established already, like I would literally have to end the act with only vigilance as my calm entry, and even then I might still take it. So wow, I think we're on deck for an infinite run here. So I'm really excited. I look forward to your guys. Please give me any tips you have. I mean, I'm probably gonna be releasing the videos. You know, I won't see the comments till after it's over. But I still want to know your guys' thoughts on how to proceed from here. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next deck. Take care.